Hi guys, and welcome back to Petrolhead Podcasts. The Ford Ranger, Isuzu D-Max, Nissan Navara, and Toyota Hilux are four of the most desirable pickup trucks on the market right now. All four have recently been either redesigned or given comprehensive facelifts, making the competition even more intense than ever before. So which is the best? Join me as I go through an in-depth comparison of these four pickup trucks to give you the final answer. Starting with exterior styling, the best looking in my opinion is the new Toyota Hilux. With the facelift, Toyota has improved on an already good looking pickup with a look inspired by the North American Toyota Tacoma and Tantra. This includes an aggressive front grille in black plastic, darkened bi-beam LED headlamps, over fenders that neatly integrate into the front fog lamps, LED tail lamps with a distinctive C-shaped light signature, and polished 18-inch rims that overall make it look wider, extremely rugged and purposeful. The next best looking for me is the new D-Max, with an attractively chiseled front end, with slim headlights, a huge grille with two thick slats and a grey underguard. On the side, the big over fenders and simple yet effective waistline and the roof rails are attractive, while on the back, the LED tail lamps are good looking, although I don't like how the back end is too similar to the previous generation D-Max. The third best looking is the Ford Ranger. It has a purposeful American truck look with a bold front end, large grille, and new for 2020 are by LED headlamps that complete the look. The Wild Track version in particular looks impressive with all of the grey highlights. On the side, although the Ranger is showing its age with a very plain profile and not much interesting details and round back, it has the same tail lights and tailgate that have been around since 2011 when the current generation went on sale. I just think it looks a bit old now in the company of its rivals, but it still beats out the Navara which comes at last. This car was recently facelifted and certainly looks more modern than before with the new LED daytime running lights, a grille inspired by the new Nissan Titan again from America and new LED tail lights, but I just think that especially from the side. The car has too many unnecessary and weird design details such as the window line, the upsweep around the mirrors and the indents around the door handles and over fenders that aren't smoothed out but distinctly round that overall create a look that is too busy and not minimalist enough compared to the other three. So overall for exterior, it's Hilux first, D-Max second, Ranger third and Navara fourth for me. In terms of interiors, the best here by a long way is the new Isuzu D-Max. It has an attractive and modern design featuring the largest touchscreen in its class at 9 inches and soft touch surfaces with stitching on the dashboard and many touch points. The attractive steering wheel that adjusts for both reach and rake and the rear seat air vents, the wireless Apple CarPlay functionality as well as a cool surround sound speaker system in the roof all combine to provide the most passenger car-like experience. The space in the second row is also good and there is a sense of quality that is missing from some of the competitors. In second place is the Toyota Hilux. With the recent facelift, the Hilux finally gets Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on a larger 8-inch screen with a physical volume knob and shortcut buttons that also runs software that is better than the previous generation. The attractive analog dials, perforated leather seats, the aluminum effect trim on the dashboard and ambient lighting all create an atmosphere of luxury, as does the new JBL sound system with 9 speakers and a subwoofer. The Hilux has rear seat air vents, reach and rake adjustable steering wheel, a cool box and a good amount of storage in the cabin. However, it is let down by having only single zone climate control rather than dual zone. The lack of any soft touch plastics on the dash and rear seats that have less legroom than the Ranger and D-Max. The Ranger comes in third. It has a great sense of quality with soft touch materials on the dash with contrasting orange stitching. There's Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and although the screen quality isn't as good as new arrivals, it is still adequate. There's also good amounts of rear legroom in the Ranger and overall it feels great. However, the Ranger is showing its age in that it doesn't have any rear seat heavens, a steering wheel that only offers height adjustments, semi-digital dials that have aging graphics and resolution, and the overall design of the dashboard that feels older than the competition. In last place comes the Navara. With the update, the Navara gets a larger 7-inch digital display in the instrument cluster and a new steering wheel which is commendable in addition to a 360-degree camera that is unique in the segment. It also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on an 8-inch screen and that is great. However, the Navara is very tight for adults in the rear seats, the armrest feels flimsy and cheap and the dashboard looks aging and is full of hard plastics and a lot of the dials and switches feel and look cheap as well with shiny chrome wrapped plastic around the gear lever, the door handles and other places not helping its cause at all. Finally, the Navara also only offers height adjustment for its steering wheel, further detracting from its appeal. So in terms of interiors then, the Isuzu is first followed by the Toyota, the Ford and lastly the Nissan. Moving on to on-road performance, 
and in this category, it is the Ford that is the best. It has the most power with 157 kilowatts and 500 newton meters from its bi turbo 2 liter engine, and this is mated to a 10 speed automatic transmission. The Ranger offers a compliant and settled ride and feels substantial and planted on the road. The new engine offers great response with the 0 to 100 time being under 10 seconds, and the engine is good for towing as well and offers better refinement than the rest. The Ranger has a full suite of active safety features such as AEB, adaptive cruise control, active lane change assist, and a speed sign recognition system. Second in the on road section is the new Hilux. With updated suspension designed to provide a more compliant ride, it finally is not dominated by a harsh ride on road. And the updated 2.8 litre engine with 150 kilowatts and 500 newton meters with a recalibrated 6 speed auto just about matches the Ford and offers much better performance than the old model with a 0 to 100 kilometers an hour time of just over 10 seconds. The new Hilux is also a great handling vehicle by the standards of the category and has great braking performance as well with a better managed stability control system and automatic transmission than before. It also finally offers the 3,500 kg towing rating for its automatic transmission models. The Hilux also offers good active safety features with AEB, adaptive cruise control, speed sign recognition, and active lane keeping. Third for on road is the new D Max. It has an updated 3 litre engine that offers 140 kilowatts and 450 newton meters, which is down on the Toyota and Ford, but it makes good use of its power, with 0 to 100 kilometers an hour times that are just about matching the more powerful Toyota. While it cannot quite match the Ford and Toyota for on road comfort and ride refinement, it is still good enough and a notable step up from the old model. The D-Max's electrically assisted steering feels vague at higher speeds though, which is a shame. It does offer the best overall safety though, in addition to everything the Hilux and Ranger offers, it also has rear cross traffic alert, a center airbag and blind spot monitoring. In last place comes the Navara. The 2.3 litre engine with 140 kilowatts and 450 newton meters is noisy compared to the competition and the 0 to 100 km an hour. Acceleration time is around 11.5 seconds, which is much slower than the other three. The ride, despite the coil sprung red end, is firmer than the other three here, and handling performance and braking are also worse than the others. The Navara also lacks safety features such as active cruise control that all of its rivals offer. In the end, the Ranger remains the best on road, followed closely by the Hilux and D Max, while the Navara has fallen behind the pack now. For off road capability, the best vehicle is the new Toyota Hilux. The engine is very tractable at low RPMs, there is low range, a rear diff lock, hill descent control and a new automatic limited slip function. The Toyota has a well calibrated traction control system for off-roading and the suspension offers fantastic wheel articulation and there is also good ground clearance and approach and departure angles and a weighting depth of 700mm. It feels the most reassuring on a variety of surfaces and impressively refined and planted. The next best is the Ranger. It also has all the hardware you need to go off-road and has the best weighting depth of 800mm of the bunch, but it just doesn't quite feel as composed and effortless as the Hilux in challenging conditions. Next comes the Isuzu. It too has all the right hardware and finally also a rear diff lock in the latest generation to match its rivals. It matches the Ranger in having an 800mm weighting depth and has a well calibrated traction control system. Again though, the feeling of composure and ultimate ability is a bit lacking compared to the Hilux even though it is not bad off-road by any means. It feels a bit low to the ground and the wheel travel isn't the best. The Navara is last again, with well controlled progress possible and good suspension fuel. However, the steering isn't as lively as the rest and it has a bigger turning circle and noisier engine. Overall then, the Hilux is the king off-road followed by the Ranger, the D-Max and the Navara. So, all things considered, which is the best pickup of these four? Personally, the Toyota Hilux has to be the best choice for me. It combines the legendary reputation for reliability, dependability and traditionally strong resale values that the Hilux nameplate is known for and yet now finally addresses all of the main complaints people had of the 8th generation model when it first launched in 2015, including on-road comfort, a lack of Apple CarPlay, soft-looking exterior, and a lack of power from the 2.8 liter engine. With all of these criticisms being solved, there is no reason to withhold the overall victory from the Hilux. A close second to the Toyota is the new Isuzu D-Max. It has a sharp looking exterior and the best executed interior of all in this company. Couple this with much improved on-road abilities, the best safety technology of the group and solid off-road ability. The D-Max is a great choice and a worthy runner-up. It misses out on first place because it doesn't quite have the same off-road prowess as the Toyota and the on-road comfort and refinement are not best in class. In third place is the Ford Ranger. It continues to impress with the best on-road manners, strong performance from the bi-turbo engine and good off-road ability, but is let down by an aging interior and exterior, and a lack of basic features like rear air vents and a steering wheel that adjusts for only height. In last place 
comes the Navara. The new Navara has improved over the old model and has bolder styling and more technology than before. However, the competition has just improved more than the Navara has in the same period, and it feels like an older generation model in terms of its interior design and quality, its on-road performance and ride, as well as the fussy exterior details, especially on the side profile. So there you go, overall, the Toyota is the best pickup of the four, followed by the Isuzu, the Ford, and lastly, the Nissan. What do you guys think of this conclusion, and what are your thoughts on these four pickups? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, please like and subscribe to my channel to be the first to see more amazing content like this in the future. Cheers!